I hope you're out again. Another day, another video. This one is this time of Hardwick Hall in North Derbyshire. It's another National Trust property. It's fantastic. So another place that people should definitely visit. And I still look really weird talking to a camera. These are the, on this floor, these are the biggest windows. Um, this is the most important floor in the house, this top floor, and so it has the biggest windows. The other thing to have a look at, above the door there, we've got Wes's coat of arms again. It's everywhere, just, just in case, between one coat of arms and another, she just forgot whose house it was. It's there again. But it's there for a purpose, it's there to tell you that you are in fact going into one of the most important rooms in the house. And we're going to go into the high grate chamber. So if you'd like to follow me in. Mm -hmm. changed her mind and they took the stairs upwards, those wooden stairs that we came down. Um, and this was left as a room. In Bess's day they used this as a private dining room for Bess. It only later became used as a bedroom. And the roof is flat. Yes it is, it's covered in lead. And in fact um, walking on the leads as they called it, walking on the roof, was a very fashionable thing to do in Elizabethan England. And you can, uh, we don't allow visitors to do it, but it is possible to walk across the roof. Um, and in fact, the tower at this end of the house, the, there are rooms in the tower, so the tower at this end of the house has a banqueting room in it. So they would have gone up there, walked across the roof, and had their banquet, their sweet course from their main meal, in, in a room like that. A fabulous idea. And of course, Beth would have stood on the roof and said, I own this, all of it. What you can see, I own. <laughs> and the answer is yes, we think so. Um, the floors in this house are not wood or stone, the upper floors. They're made of what's called lime ash which looks a little bit like concrete and is, is not very attractive. So it would always have been covered, and probably covered by something like this woven rush mat. Back to school stuff, yeah. It's, uh, very nice. So the great thing about this camera is that I can just leave it running like I am now, recording. And then just cut and edit and chop it up as I like. <laughs> it's an interesting path. <laughs> yeah. Smells lovely. Of course you do that. Yeah. 